Hey everyone, this is Lonnie. I hope all of you rap and they have a great day so far because you are the sweetest thing out there. And I'm back with another episode of Stains Gate. But before I do talk more about this episode of possible spoilers, here is a little artist promotion right here. So please be sure to check out all these links in the description box where you also will find links to the reaction video of this episode of Stains Gate and... <sighs> the more and more I watch Stains Gate, the more and more it screws with my brain. I'm, 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 I'm really getting like, oh my gosh, how is... All the altering, as I mean, the Akibahara have been completely changed. There's no more Mo or enemy things going around there. Everything that is gone because it had been altered by when Farrah sent her mail back. And then it was the part with Suzu. And the satellite fee. Which I'm pretty sure right now is not a satellite. Because now it, as, as I mentioned in the beginning, is that if a satellite crashed to Earth. One, it, most of it if it, it did, if it didn't have brakes. It would mostly pretty much evaporate in the atmosphere because that is, I mean, most meteors that go into hit Earth pretty much go through the atmosphere and incinerates. I mean, it's, it's there, there is no more meteor, you, you know what I mean? And then there is the fact that if it was somehow still managed to strike in and not explode and eva eva evaporate up in the atmosphere, it would have fallen with such force that the entire building probably and much around would probably like not exist anymore. It would be good. It would be boosh. At least what I, I mean, obviously, if someone out there do know more about things like that, please write that to me. Because honestly, I, I go based on pure logic that I assume is logic at least, and things I do know and have been reading about in the past and all that. Which, and I and of course, if I'm wrong about something, always write the tell me because I, I I love to learn. And if I get it right, that, that's that, that's what's most important to me at least that I'm learning from my mistake and that from these parts I'm wrong. But when it comes to this, I'm getting like, damn. And then we're seeing before that that when he looking when Okurin is looking for Susu, and she's gone. she had been going to another city. And then you seeing the building, but there's no satellite satellite there left. I'm pretty sure at this point that it's that is an accurate time machine because that would explain in general when I'm look when I'm thinking on it, it was perfect perfectly mashed into it. Sure it was a bit, you know, bit things off, but that is like the concept if if you having this pig here and summoning a pencil from a different timeline and it was exactly right here it will be like right okay okay that was right and then it pretty much would be right through the pig i mean okay 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 i gotta say, i'm terrible sorry if i don't make much sense, but here's a pencil and here's a pig bacon you are my experimental bacon pig thing Terrible sorry, but either you or me, and since I'm the one that is doing all of this, it needs to be you. No need to cry. Oh, he's crying. But well, and okay, so here, now, this pen is here. And we go... Doo -doo -doo -doo. So for a couple seconds back, the pen was, yeah, you know, right here. And now we're putting the pig here, and we're sending uh, this pen back in time. At exact point. So it pretty much is right, as you see, it's right through in the pig now. Well, okay, it's... Uh, you know what I mean? It, it would literally be inside the pig. And then what I think is with the sa the satellite thing, is that where it was actually standing was at that building, and uh, because maybe in the future building is much bigger or it's a different building there, or... If they actually can't teleport, because 
that is oh gosh uh, that is also a, a possibility is that considering when they've been sending uh, when CERN have been sending people back in time they have been literally random places they have been appearing and of course they have as they mentioned they have pretty much been merged into the ob objects that is like you know when the Terminator movies when they're going back in time they created this ball around them that uh, when it's popping up and everything around it is seemed to disintegrate it because it, yeah it, energy like makes it vanish. and I think that's the same thing with this device and as I mentioned as well, there is a. I have. A, I mean, sorry, I'm terrible. Sorry, I have so many random theories about this right now, and it's just getting worse and worse. And is that what if uh, Ocarin is Susu's father in the future, and she is looking for him? Maybe she doesn't really know exactly that it's him, or something similar, because both of them have very similar color of the eyes and uh, I do know I actually read and uh, thank you Matt Pat on the game theories for for it as well uh, reinforced that eye colors are inherent that you're getting from your parents I mean uh, there is in your genes so if example both parents have brown eyes there is extremely most likely that you get brown eyes if one have blue eyes and brown eyes uh, there is still a stronger chance you get brown eyes than blue because brown have stronger genes that take over the blues and things like that. So, because Susu and Ocarina both have golden eyes, golden brown eyes, which is definitely different from any other character in the show so far, that is my thought so far. And in general, I mean, I've, I've, it makes me just so freaking curious about it. There, there is, and obviously, I know this show is already done, people have watched it, you do know probably everything, all the puzzle together, but for me this is like, this could be an entire new show and I'm just throwing out my theories and my thoughts of it, and I'm like, I need to know, and getting even more things, god damn it, but still, I'm really curious to watch more about the... I'll cut this video for now, and I will be back with more reactions, more Stains Gate, and more other other things. So thank you everyone, see you later on, and most of all though, have a continuous super great day.